Hi everyone, Lori Bailey here again. I have a, just a couple of quick tips for you um, if you are a Lightroom CC user. There's a new update that, that they just uh, provided and it, will, and it belongs in the develop module. It's called, um, well it gives you a reference essentially so that if you're looking to have consistency between, image, between images from a, the same series, um, either with white balance or um, white balance tone, you know, all of that stuff, um, it allows you to do that so that you can just kind of use one as a reference. I know that you probably already do that using other, using the loop tool and some of the other things that, that you use to, to do what you're doing that way. But in this case, um, what you're going to need to do once you update the new, uh, once you update Lightroom to whatever the new update is, um, you're going to go into the develop module here from library, go to develop, and then right here in your toolbar here, there is a reference view. You can also use just shift R and it brings up whatever photo you want. You can actually click and drag and pull this into your reference view. In this case, I'm gonna use the first one here. And as you can see down at the bo bottom, I have a series of images that I want to kind of keep consistent. Um, so if you wanna lock that in, you can just click the lock button so that it doesn't change, of course. Now, when I go to select my other images, that reference, I can see a little bit of difference in, in tonality or in exposure, obviously, and I can make adjustments as needed to the reference one. In this one, I can continue to see that I want to maybe bring the exposure up just a little bit and maybe just, just the whites and the highlights down just a peep. Um, but it's real simple, and if you click this, obviously, again, you can get a horizontal view or a vertical view, very similar. Um, to the other tools where you can do the cycle between the before and after views which you can turn that off just by clicking back on reference photo and then if you click on just the, the loop view the D if you just click D it takes you right back into what you're doing with the, in, the, the photo in particular um, there's another and that's pretty much it so I kind of already used it a couple of times and I thought it was pretty decent it gives me a a look so that I can make sure that my white balance um, is consistent as well. I think that's something that I think I struggle with and I know a lot of people struggle with is getting the white balance. Once you get the white balance kind of right where you want it to be, especially in an image like this where you've got the, the trees and the, the, the water and, and other colors that are kind of interacting with your subject's face, then you want to get a consistent white balance or tone. Once I found that, then I'm going to use that as a, as a good reference. Um, and another quick tip is, um, this is a little different and separate, but if you already haven't been doing this, I don't ever use really the map, book, slideshow, even print or web, and I just pretty much like to use those two. A little quick tip, which isn't the tip number two, away from the reference photo tip, is that if you right click anywhere in the black up here, um, it provides you with little checks and you can actually uncheck these. I don't know if you knew that, but these are just little tips and tricks that I've learned over time and um, so I just like the library and develop here and then also if you click if you don't use all of the different things here I don't use camera calibration I don't use effects I just turn all that stuff off essentially but even if you don't want that there um, what you can do is just right click on any of these little tabs at the very top of them and just for example right on top of basic I right click in there I don't want my camera calibration, so I'll just uncheck that. I don't really use effects. I do use transform, lens corrections, um, detail. I don't really use split toning, so I'm just going to uncheck that. And at any time, you can, you can always click show all there, and you can click show all there to bring them all back. But so now when I go down I'm, with just kind of a quick spin, I can go right back down and do all of the stuff that I want. So, well, effects as well. I do like that highlighting pr priority. Um, Anyways, that's about it. I hope you guys like this, these little tips. Um, I will try and get better at YouTube videos as, as time permits and as the dogs and cats allow me to and the kids before they get home. Hope everyone has a good day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.